to my channel my name is Arena if you are new here if you're already a subscriber thank you so much for returning and for clicking on this video once again and welcome to my YouTube family and if you enjoy my content please don't forget like share subscribe hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos from myself and yeah let's get into it so today's video first of all uh, I'm in England, it's a Sunday and the sun is out and I cannot tell you how much I've missed this feeling. It's been so miserable for so long so I'm really, really happy the sun's come out today. I've had a lovely day. Um, what I wanted to do with you guys for today's video is actually do a bit of an update on what I'm getting ready to wear for spring. Obviously the weather's gotten better, the sun's coming out, I am bringing out all of my spring perfumes and I'm getting ready for this time of the year which I absolutely love. I love nothing more than the spring um, fragrances so I'm so excited to pull these out. Now you will know about some of them. In fact you might know all of them because I probably have done um, some video in the past about them but these are my favorites at the moment and I have so many fragrances. I actually have too many fragrances but um, I've narrowed down to what I want to wear this spring of 2024. So these are my favorites and these are the ones I'm gonna be rotating. Um, I'd like to just go through them with you guys. Uh, if you have any suggestions of any other ones, once you see my vibe, um, if you think there's anything I would really like or you recommend, then please don't, uh, please feel free to drop me a comment. Um, and yeah, let's get to it. So. I've kind of split them in two categories. One is more for work and for professional, and the other one is for more fun, everyday uh, sort of stuff, casual, etc. So, um, right, the first one I'm gonna mention, and I'm gonna start with the work category because in all fairness, I do a lot of that. So I need to work on work-life balance, but that's another conversation altogether. So my main fragrances that I'm going to be wearing quite a lot this spring are, I'm going to start with one that reminds me, this is like spring to me every year for the past three years and it's been the happiest feeling and it brings back the most amazing memories because I've had just the most incredible um, sort of things that have happened to me whilst I was wearing this and this will always just bring back incredible memories. Um, the first one is Tom Ford Rose Prick. This is a massive, solid, solid favorite of mine. It's probably one that I'm forever gonna have in just in my perfumes. I This is so me, and I've definitely done a video on this before because I'm just obsessed with it. It is rose, but it's also spicy and it's a bit obnoxious and it's a bit in your face. Like it's a little bit abrasive in a way, but at the same time, it's got a really amazing sweetness. So this is a rose fragrance. This is the smallest, this is like a 30 ml. But it's um, like a pretty girl, but one that's, you know, a little bit spicy and a little bit, you, you're not gonna mess with her because she might be small and cute, but you know she will put you in your place. That sort of vibe, that's what I get from this. It's also, very kind of, uh, it is a very professional scent as well. And I really like to wear this because initially it is quite intense when you first spray it. It is quite obnoxious, like I said. But when it dries down, it's actually quite a nice, clean, um, professional rose uh, and a little bit of spice. And it just feels um, really put together and kind of like serious, but at the same time you're classy and you do know how to have um, a little bit of fun as well. It's such a combination of everything that I would want in a fragrance and I love, love rose. Uh, love rose, love a bit of spice and this to me is just the perfect combination. If I honestly had to really, really cut down on every all the perfumes I use, this would be one of my absolute all-time favorite favorites now. Um, yeah, and it's it lasts a really long time on me. It lasts longer on clothes than it does on my skin, 
but I still get pretty much the whole day from my skin, but it's just, it's very different by the end of the day, obviously. So it is much more rose and a toned down and a clean and um, it just warms to a fresh rose, if that makes sense. So it, it feels a little bit more mature as well. Um, it's probably more on the mature side. So especially when the dry down happens because it does just become a bit more rose-like. For me, I maybe I'm just a bit boring. I don't know. I love, love, love it. And I will, res well, I like to respray it because I actually like to feel that spiciness again. So, cause I can still smell it, but I just like to, to feel a bit spicier again. So I might spray it again, like maybe five, six hours later just to get that impact. Um, but it's a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. It's one of my absolute favorites. And obviously the bottle is pink, which always helps as you may know i love the color pink so that's my number one it's tom ford rose prick if you want the kind of actual notes etc then i'm not going to do all that i'm just kind of going to tell you which ones i like and what i wear them from so that one for me is more of a work um more of a professional let's say or if i'm going out for something like a, a bit of a formal dinner or something like that it's just a bit more of a serious scent let's say but i still love it so much fun and it's such a spring scent for me the second scent that i am gonna um, talk to you guys about is pure musk for her i've got the smaller one um this is literally what it says on the tin it's incredibly musky it's Again, it just makes me think of spring so much and lots of good memories. And it's just, it's stunning. It is, um, it is a statement perfume as far as I'm concerned because it's super, super musky and also lasts a really long time, more so on clothes. I've had so many compliments on this. The bottle, the bigger bottle is actually a white one with a black lid. Um, so many compliments and actually I bought this one by mistake because I meant to get the white cube one you know the original um, oh still my favorite and obviously we can't get it anymore but that was the ultimate Nar Narciso fragrance from as far as I'm concerned but this is my probably my second favorite out of all of the others um, so very musky and it's also floral it's very powdery once it dries down it turns to, it, to a musky kind of flowery powdery fragrance um and it's very clean and um projection is amazing and longevity is also amazing but more so on clothes like i said already this is again more of a work professional if i'm you know trying to be you know in my ceo bad bitch boss bitch kind of um if that's the vibe i'm going for this is definitely it's a very strong um and statement perfume as far as i'm concerned and yeah it's just very very musk so this is again one of my absolute favorites and that will be another spring scent the next ones, I'm not going to spend too long in this video talking about these anyway, but Amor's Guidance, 100%, this is always going to be with me and this is always going to be one of my favorites. This is more of a softer one, not as those two are much more in your face. This one is a much more softer, feminine, you know, um, classy, sexy a little bit. This is like a little bit of a softer version of those, but it's still an absolute statement. And you will not, you will get noticed. I've said in my previous video, I've done a review on this, absolutely adore it. So check that out if you want to know a little bit more about this fragrance. And then the last one I'm gonna show you guys is Baccarat Rouge by Forti, um, Maison, MFK, Maison Francis Cochon. I can't, I don't know if I ever say that right, but this has been my favorite since uh, the since the lockdown. Essentially, I bought this for myself, and there was a lot going on about it. So massive hype. I tried it first, and then I ended up buying it for myself. It's still to this day one of my most favorite fragrances. There's I the word words fail me when I try to describe this fragrance. It is unreal. You know, there's so many reviews, like the burnt sugar, whatever, whatever, whatever. To me, it just smells like rich. It just smells like class. It smells a bit like I'm untouchable. When I put this on, things will go my way. And no matter what happens, I'm gonna wait, walk away from that feeling like a 
badass no matter what i've got this this is what this makes me feel and the amount of compliments from this even though it is quite popular now whatever people still comment on how good this smells um and yeah i still get compliments about it and i always have one of these i mean i do go through them fairly quickly um but i'll always have a full one i'm never gonna stop using this i don't care what anyone says it's just not gonna happen for me. it just ticks the like classy elegant put together um you know clean just ticks so many points uh when i want to be you know professional or if i want to be taken seriously or if i want to be in my power blah 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 and i just i will wear this um to other things like if i go out for dinner but it's definitely more of a when i want to feel like confident um and just at my best i don't know how else to explain it but yeah it's a phenomenal fragrance and if you've never tried it it's hard when you see all the reviews i did fall for the hype a little bit is as in that's why i wanted to look into it in the first place but i have absolutely no regrets and the more i've used this the more i've loved it and i literally i was the other week i was driving out of a car park and there was like a car park guy and I drove and my window was open and I had sprayed it on and the guy was like, oh my god, what what are you wearing? Because that smells so nice. So this man was outside. I was in my car having sprayed this um, and he just had to say that, which I thought, again, that's what you want, isn't it? Um, so that's that one. Now, these are my work ones. These are the ones I'm going to have on rotation pretty much every day. And I'm just going to give you a couple um, of my kind of every day outside of work let's say which these are a bit more casual i might wear them even when i go to the gym or just going shopping things like that um when i'm trying to be a bit more casual the first one is narciso rodriguez for her this is eau de toilette um i prefer this over the eau de parfum i did smell them both i can't really remember what that smells like but i remember loving this so this one is musky powdery floral to me, this is so pretty and it's kind of like floral, fresh, bubbly, like it's a happy, happy scent and it's a, it's kind of intoxicating but at the same time it's really lovely. So it's a beautiful combination between those two and I know that I can wear this, you know, I'm never gonna like, it's, it's a very likable scent, shall I say. There is a little bit of... Um, there's obviously musk, which I I really, really love musk perfumes, anything musky. And Narciso does that beautifully for me. So I'm like a proper, a serious, serious fan. Um, but yeah, you've got the beautiful musk, but it's also floral. It's also a little bit girly and quite fresh, um, upbeat. It's just a very positive scent. So if I'm going out and about, I've literally just been to Pilates this morning. This was the scent that I put on and it's just beautiful um it lasts a really long time on me as in i will put this on in the morning and i will not need to respray it in the day for me it's incredible um it's very powerful once i put it on but then it dries down and i can still smell it but it's not quite as um it's not overpowering anyway but it's definitely a little bit calmer once i've sprayed it for me since um it's just absolutely one of my favorites one of my everyday carry in my bag and i'll always feel put together i'll always feel pretty i'll always feel classy um but just casual and relaxed as well so yeah that's narcisa rodriguez for her and the last one that i'm going to mention to you guys is kayali 28 the vanilla perfume as you can see i'm pretty much done with this one i will be getting a new one because i also wear this with any of those perfumes i will usually just layer it and if i just want a little bit more going on with what i've got on already and i just want to make it feel a little bit different then i will put this on first and then i'll put the other one on top and that always gives me a little bit of a twist let's say on the one i've already got on um i really love this i think there's a lot of mixed reviews to me when i spray this on it it smells quite um it actually makes me sneeze and i've said this before in one of my videos it makes me sneeze it like irritates my nose once that initial spray has gone down to me this smells like literally like vanilla extract you know the vanilla extract that you're going to cook with yeah that you're going to put in your cakes yeah that one it smells just like that for me and i absolutely love it it's just vanilla it's what it says on the tin 
I don't understand how people say, oh, it's not vanilla or it's this and this. And this. It's, it's vanilla. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so yeah, this is for every day again. I will also wear this on its own if I'm literally nipping out somewhere. And some days I really fancy just wearing this. It just, some days are just vanilla days. And this is amazing. I really can't, unless you really don't like vanilla. I, I don't understand how anybody could go wrong with this. I just don't get it. Um, it lasts it lasts a decent time on me. I'll probably get like five hours out of it, four or five hours, and then I will probably respray. Um, but it, again, it lasts longer on clothes. So I don't know what it is about my skin, but perfumes tend to last less on my skin. Um, yeah, so that's Kylie 28. I really, really recommend it. It's one of my favorites. I'll probably forever have it in my collection. And it's just an easy one, easy go-to perfume. So these are my fragrances for spring. Um, the only other one I have purchased, and I'm actually trying this out at the moment, is Narciso Rodriguez Patchouli Musk. It's not, and also please forgive my hair, I've actually been to the gym and I have a little bit of time to film right now, so uh, the frizz had to stay. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I've just got a large sample of it because I want to give it a good try. It's very musky. So from, from the times I've wore it two times and I really, really like it. It's definitely musky and it feels a bit more uh, like masculine to me than on the feminine side, but I really, really, really like it as well. So um, I don't see myself replacing any of those with this, but it's certainly one that I'm considering adding if you like. Um, but I need to give this a, a, a little bit more time. So this is Nar Narciso Rodriguez Patchouli Musk. So I've just looked up the notes. It's woody, it's got patchouli, obviously vanilla, warm, spicy, musky, powdery. It's more of a vanilla musk. I think um, it's quite likable, but it just leans... Ooh, it just to me, because I think I really like my florals, it leans a little bit more basic vanilla and kind of musk. And it's still beautiful. It's really, really beautiful. I really love it, but yeah. And it's quite powerful. I think this is one that would really almost like knock your socks off a little bit in a way a bit similar to this. Um, but yeah beautiful and i can see myself wearing this absolutely this will probably also be more of a professional in fact this might be more of a dinner night out because it's it's just feel what does this remind me of it reminds it's not the same but it reminds me a little bit of um of tom ford that what's the velvet thing you know the black not the not the velvet but the black bottle that was like everybody talks about let me look it up now black orchid that one it reminds me a little bit of tom Ford tom ford black orchid but not quite as like not not that one not quite like that because they are different but just reminds me of that power behind it and like the edginess about it. I don't know. Is that just me? So check it out guys. Patchouli musk and let me know what you think about this one. Um, but yeah, it's beautiful and I, I'm going to try this and give you guys an update once I've decided on it. Um, that is everything. That that That's all my fragrances in uh, for spring in one video. I hope you've enjoyed and I hope it's helped you kind of explore what to wear for spring. Please don't forget to leave um, a comment. Tell me what you think. Tell me if there's other fragrances. I love musk, as you can see, and I love rose. So if you can think of any others in that sort of family, please, I'm open to suggestions. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and click that notification bell so you don't miss future videos from me. And enjoy your day, everybody. Enjoy spring. I hope you're all having a fabulous day, and I will catch you all in my next video.